there were around five million good reason why this gently spoken 40 year old father of four decided not to hang up his sneakers at the start of this NBA basketball season. For Kareem Abdel-Jabbar, captain of the world champion LA Lakers, the game goes on. While the tourists lurk on Rodeo Drive hoping for a glimpse of the glitterati at play, I drove out to the forum and copped an eyeful of a real superstar in action. Here in Tinseltown, USA, there are stars and then some superstars. But Kareem is in another category, as his coach Pat Riley explains. I think we have to look at Kareem, uh, everybody, as probably the most unique athlete that's ever walked the face of this earth. I just think he's Kareem, but I think he's just been blessed with, uh, uh, with an instrument that is, uh, is unbreakable. As a bloke who loves the limelight, I must admit there are times when you feel overawed. This was one of them. Seven foot two, around 270 pounds, and with no thought of retirement. What keeps you, what drives you? At I, your age, I, I don't want to be rude about it. this, you're 40 years of age now. Well, this is my profession, and uh, I, I do it very well. If it was something I wasn't doing well, I, I really wouldn't have that much of a reason to, to stay around. But I'm still near the top of the people who compete at what I do, and there's no reason for me to quit uh, just because of a number. Uh, you know, the number on my birth certificate is not, is not the reason that you play or don't play. The man has been a sensation since his school days, and these black and white shots capture the Kareem of old. In the days before he started smashing NBA records, before he played the first of some 1,400 games, or scoring those 36,000 points, or embarking on 19 seasons in the toughest strata of a professional basketball. A lot of people that have physical gifts, when they approach a sport, um, when, at the point where it gets competitive, they have to give up because they, they just can't pursue it. And uh, I realized very early that I had to keep pursuing and pursuing and pursuing uh, in order to be competitive. And uh, it just became uh, a way of, uh, of doing things for me. Jack Nicholas and Martina play for the majors, for a place in history. No, I've, I've achieved all of that. I mean, I'm, my place in the record book is assured. I, I don't uh, have any more really that I can achieve in that aspect of uh, my career. I just really I'm doing it now because I, I do it well and the Lakers want me and we, we're successful. And uh, I don't see any real crying need to walk out on a successful situation. To the start of this season, the man who made the skyhook the most feared weapon in basketball had scored 36,474 points, played 1,406 games, had blocked 3,102 shots, had played 53,000 minutes and chalked up 4,245 personal fouls. On top of that, had six MVP awards, world championships, and 17 all-star appearances, and you get some idea of Kareem's unique record and his godlike statue in the game. In any crowd, he's a standout. Well, anonymity is not something that I can enjoy, so I, I have to give that up. Even when I go, I, when I've traveled overseas and people don't really know who I am, I'm still a giant and uh, <laughs> remarkable in that respect. His height, however, has never worried him. Have you ever wished that uh, you were as short as I, I no. am? No, I never have. <laughs> when I was growing up, my folks gave me very positive feedback about being tall and that it was a mark of being special, etc. And uh, so far, I haven't had that, that, that desire for one instant. His number 33 will be retired, but not until the great man decides he's had enough. Well, I uh, figured that by this time I'd be on the sidelines sipping a cool drink, you know. But the, um, the Lakers wanted me very badly, and they, they proved it by making me an offer that I couldn't refuse. So uh, I, I took the opportunity. 